What's up guys, Grim here. Feeling a little bit under the weather, but that isn't going to stop me from bringing you guys some PvP guides. And this is another of D-Day's creations, so all props to him, and let's get started. This is the 48 Warlord 28 Paragon build. And for the 48 points in the Warlord, you basically fill up the tree, except for you do not put any points into Shatter. Do not put any points into Disorient. No points into Field Navigation. No points into Defensive Surge. No points into Battlefield Medic. No points into Tactical Advance. Okay, then we go over to the Paragon Tree. And the 28 points goes into, you put 5 into Teaching of the Five Rings. 1 into Combat Precision. 1 into Wrist Strike. 5 into Weapon Familiarity. 3 into Grace of the Five Rings. 1 into Flinching Strike. 3 into Flowing Strikes. 3 into 1 2 Punch. 3 into Deadly Parody. 1 into Shifting Blades, 1 into Tranquility, and 1 into Improved Flowing Strikes. And if you guys can't see what it is on the screen or couldn't follow me as I was reading them out, there will be a link to the build in the description below, so please feel free to look down there and refer to a much easier to see layout of the build if you can't see it here, even though this should be in 1080p. So. And the third soul is Tempest, which we are mainly just getting this for Shock Pulse, but sadly this one doesn't have Skyfall. So no ranged finisher there. But the DPS will be better than 61 Warlord, and I'll show you why in a moment. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the macros. And... Uh, okay here we are this is the main builder here and it's a little bit different than how D-Day had it set up but you know I make it my own and you guys can too you can change it any way you like if you feel like it works a better way with different abilities in it or something feel free to change it all you want just don't break it you know Okay, uh, that is the builder. And all the macros will be in the description below. I'm not going to read them out or even put them on the screen this time just to see how people enjoy it. They will all be in the description below if you can't read them on the screen. Okay, the finisher. And of course this is our big AOE here, the killing field. And this is our burst macro. Now, it, this isn't a build that you're going to be able to throw everything into one macro like you guys, some of you guys did with the 61 Warlord. You pretty much have to have a burst macro on this one because shifting blades, you do not want other abilities to be going off and be using up your shifting blades. You want those three abilities right there. Okay, here's our charge macro. And it's a little bit different than the 61 Warlord build because this has thread the trees instead of clear the breach. Okay, here's our pull macro. And if you are if you were running the 61 Warlord build, this is the exact same pull macro, so you won't have to change it if you've already got it like this. And here is our interrupt two interrupts guys so kill those healers and also you'll be doing a lot more da well you'll be doing some uh, better damage than 61 warlord so you're more likely going to kill the healers along with these two interrupts all right that's the macros let's go to the buttons on my bar here we got the builder we got the finisher and then we got our two surges here, which is Tactical Surge and Battle Surge. You want to have these both up as much as possible because they will add a lot of damage to your attacks. So keep them up as much as you can. I highly recommend it. Then we got the Burst Macro, the Charge Macro, 
the pull macro and then I have forced march which I want to warn you guys do not throw this into your build macro or use it to chase down people if if you cannot get a hold of somebody with two charges two pulls a snare and plenty of other stuff then you don't need to be using your force march to chase people this should be used specifically to get away from dangerous situations you don't want to use this ability after you've done blown two pulls two charges snare and everything else you don't want to use this up too because it's obvious you're not going to catch that person if he's getting away from you through all that anyway and you're already in the damage being a warrior don't don't use up your only abilities to get away okay and defensive maneuver basically the same thing this is a getaway for you it makes you leap backwards a uh, pretty big distance okay of course you got your break free do not put this in your macros guys do not put break free in your macros because you will be using that and break free on a silly snare or something else that you don't need to be breaking free from and then they'll stun you and all of a sudden all the enemies will run up and kill you because you cannot break free and you cannot get away okay you got flinching strike which has your two interrupts in your uh, macro right there we got snare which is eye of the snow eye of the storm now if you want to put this into your builder feel free a lot of people like having it there they like it going off as much as possible I don't have a problem with that because it's only a 10 second cooldown. Use it as much as you like guys. Wrist strike. This is your disarm. This is how you take care of those pesky rogues that are coming to kill you. And I don't even think D-Day's build had wrist strike and some of these other abilities in it. But this is how I like to play. I like to be able to control people a little more. I like to interrupt them more. I like to disarm them if they're melee hitting me. I like more getaways and stuff like that. So I like as much utility as I can because you're in a lot of bad situations as a warrior. Because you're right in the middle of the enemies a lot of the time. Okay, and here is no permission to die. Which you need to use this if you feel like you're about to die. Because it allows you to survive a killing blow within 10 seconds of using it and it restores 50% of your health so yeah it's very important alright now on to our buffs we got defensive posture we got focus of body we got enhanced conductivity way of the river deadly posture planar protection well your your guild buffs and planar buffs so you don't have to don't have to put planar protection up if you don't have the charges or whatever but yeah those are buffs that you usually want up to but there's another way of playing this there this is all offense right here this is all your uh damaging uh abilities and stuff like well buffs so there's two other buffs that you can use instead of uh two of these which is way of the sun and recovery posture these two are really good because they heal you as you're doing damage to people and for some reason no matter how decked out my warrior is i cannot seem to get enough healing it seems like at all times i'm taking too much damage and i need more heals so if you instead of putting up way of the river put up way of the sun and instead of doing deadly posture put up recovery posture and I even had a recent war front where I went out and I was DPS and everybody down but I was doing so much damage that my healing buffs here were healing me so much I out healed the one healer we had on our team of course that made him look bad and it shouldn't be happening like that because you know I'm healing for quite a bit but it's not that much that I should be out doing the healer but it is quite a bit I'm making the example because it is quite a bit of healing and that healer really looked bad right there 
Okay, how to play this build. Okay, what you want to do is, of course, do your charge or whatever. Get into the mix. Alright, then you want to build up, using your builder, you want to build up three combo points. And then you want to put up your first surge. And as you can see, I use K-Alerts to keep up with my surges. Go ahead and hit your builder some more, and then put up your second surge. Now my damage is increased by a lot. So now if I'm in the middle of a big group of people or something like that, I might hit my finisher as soon as I get three combo points so I can hit my killing field. And bam, everything's going to take a lot of damage. Alright, and you can continue using your finisher or whatever. But as soon as you see somebody's getting kind of low in life, it might be time to use your burst macro. Now you need three combo points in order to use this burst macro the right way. Because shifting blades is basically a finisher. It uses up your combo points. So you have to, what it is, is it follow, uh, follow each of the next three single target direct damaging attacks with a second strike. So it hits something a second time for the next three attacks that you're going to be doing. Which we put our hardest hitting abilities in this burst macro. So if you got three combo points, it's going to hit for 75% of the initial damage of each of those attacks. So our first, I mean, we need to have our uh, surges up because you want your damage to be as much as possible. So keep your surges up. All right. As soon as we get our three points up, then we use our burst macro and bam it pops our shifting blades and it pops our big hit hard hitting abilities and it will use up uh it will use shifting blades and then it'll use king of the hill and then uh tranquility and then rising waterfall which are all pretty good abilities i mean the first two hit really really hard and rising waterfall hits pretty hard too so It'd be good to keep uh, a K alert up of those three abilities as well. That way you can see once you're done with your macro, just in case you get interrupted or something like that, you want to, well, something prevents you from firing off those abilities. You want to know once you're done with the burst macro. So, yeah. So it's pretty easy to do. I mean, it's not a one button build like some of you guys have been playing Warrior, but it is better DPS than the 61 Warlord build and not very complicated. It's just basically a builder and finisher and keep up your surges just like the other 61 Warlord build and then once you get somebody low in health go ahead and hit your burst macro and hit it a couple times after you use up your shifting blade so that you hit your hard hitting abilities. And if you need to get away, you know, be sure to use your defensive maneuver to jump back and then turn around and hit your forced march. You know, get to running. Do not use your forced march for offensive, guys. Don't do it. And also, don't use your break free for offensive, you know, unless you got somebody right where they're about to die. Do not put it into your macros. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video and like I said put in Eye of the Storm into your builder if you feel like it because a lot of people do like having the snare in their builder so that's the gist of it all and uh, if you want more healing be sure to replace Way of the River with Way of the Sun instead and instead of Deadly Posture use Recovery Posture if you don't have good enough heals so to say Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please hit the like button if you found it helpful. Uh, hitting the like button helps me a lot. And make sure that you're subscribed. And like always guys, my name is Graham, and I'll see you tomorrow.